What is going on, guys? Newton here with MMO Play. We're going to first look and impressions video into Project Gorgon, a free to play MMORPG. Now, this game was funded on Kickstarter and has finally seen its, um, or it's finally found its way into a playable version of the game. Uh, it's completely free for anybody to test out. It's, uh, it's a very early state of the game, so I'd say like an alpha or like even like a pre alpha. But this game seems to offer some new innovative MMO ideas, according to the dev and the creator of the game. So he wants to offer you a new experience, and I think that's kind of the selling point in this game. It does sound pretty interesting, so let's go over the character customization really quick, and we'll hop right into the gameplay. So, the character customization, um, not a lot to it, but there is some character customization, which is nice to see. So we have different races we could pick from, and uh, different facial, facial features we can, um kind of use to customize our character and make them look unique. So, the races we have are humans, elves, and Rakisha, I believe is what they're called. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but they're kind of like a fox class. If you can't tell, they got a tail over here, they got some ears, we can kind of go get a 3D view of that. So you can see they're like an animal type class, but we're going to go ahead and pick human, just a standard looking class. And I really like the armor that these guys are wearing, they look pretty cool. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to go over the facial features and stuff like that because we could probably go over it for quite a long time. And I really want to hop into the gameplay. So let's go ahead and name our character. There we go. Um, and we'll go ahead and hit create character. The character name is already in use. What is this? This is crazy. Alright, so I guess we'll go ahead and go with MMO play. That's alright. Go ahead and create our character. Inval valid character name. I guess we can't use dashes, so let's go ahead and do MMO play, create character, and there we go. Now, after you create your character, there's a little bit of dialogue going on here. As you can see, there's kind of a, a story that's developing right before us, or as you can see, right as we create our characters. But um, as you can see, these guys just attacked me. Um, their goal is to basically take me and create me into a project or like a pet, uh, something weird like that. But uh, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and load, and here we are. Message from uh, Ario. Eric just joined Extra Life Team tomorrow's activities, not to take part. Okay, so just a little message of the day about the events that are going on and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Nice to see. And uh, let's go ahead and X out of that, and there we go. So right off the bat, you can kind of see um, the game doesn't look too bad. It is being created by um, a small development team. I believe it is one person. He might have some more people helping him. Not too sure on that, but I mean, like I said, this is a very, very early state of the game. It was funded on Kickstarter, and overall, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it is making some progress. It is coming along. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, kind of walk around and talk to this guy. Uh, there's not really a sense of direction where to go in this game. I believe it kind of feels like more of a more of a sandbox MMO. You're not really tied down to follow a main story quest and, you know, follow different areas to level. You're kind of free to talk to whoever you want. Each NPC has different goals they want to do and different things they want to talk about. So you could really develop relationships and get to know NPCs and stuff like that, depending on where you go. And you're free to do it however you choose. So here we go. We could have different talking options with each NPC. And like I said, you could build relationships with them depending on um, what things you say. So let's see. Wait, who am I? Let's go ahead. and uh, You are called MMO Play. I think one of them said you might be a prodigy. All right. Um... Oh, my memory's coming back. No, they stole them from your head, same as mine. They'll never come back. All right, that doesn't sound too great. Um, let's see. Is there anything I could do for you? All right, I don't know. I mean, I don't even want to escape, you know. But it doesn't matter anymore. I think I'm seriously depressed. But I can't figure out a fix. I wish I could feel some hope again. All right. Heavy, I'll see what I can do. All right, so... This guy's depressed. He doesn't want to escape, which is pretty interesting, I guess. So let's go ahead and run around and uh, kind of explore this cave and see what we can do here. So as you can see, we have uh, different options and stuff like that. We can um, uh, do with different NPCs and talk to them. So let's see. Uh, smell some oats, consume porridge. All right, let's go ahead and eat that. And there we go. We ate some porridge and we got some XP for it. All right, sounds good. So that's pretty cool. We got some XP for just interacting with different things around the cave. Like I said, it really does feel like a sandbox MMO, so you're kind of free to do as you feel. 
and different things you do, you'll get uh, you'll get experience for it. And there's different levels and different uh, things you can level up. So you can see I'm getting experience in um, mycology or something like that. So it doesn't seem like there's really like a base level, but there's different uh, skills and you can level up over time. So it's kind of like RuneScape in a way. Which is pretty cool, I have no problem with that, it makes the game really interesting, and it gives you, like, a lot more to do in the game, as, like I said, following a main quest line, and you're kind of free to do whatever you feel like. So, there we go, we kind of had, we went ahead and picked all our mushrooms, and let's go ahead and keep, keep continuing and kind of exploring this cave. Alright, so we're coming up on some more stuff over here, so it seems like the stuff that kind of sparkles over here will be the stuff we can interact with, so this looks like we've got a dead body over here, it's kind of interesting. And uh, let's go ahead and click on this guy, search corpse, maybe we can find some gear or something. Oh, uh, had a sword jam to it, we pulled it out with some effort. Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and open our inventory, and let's see, we got a sword. We can go ahead, right click that, and use that, there we go. So we did, and uh, oh, no, we're going to go ahead and keep our pants on. <laughs> Alright, so the gear in the game is uh, in your inventory, it does not come out of your inventory, uh, if you equipped it, which is um, kind of strange, but it's alright, not really a big deal. So, as you can see, it does have a little E next to it, it which indicates that you have equipped it that, um, that item. So you don't want to go ahead and sell those from your inventory. But let's go ahead and keep picking these mushrooms. There we go, we got some more points over there. And there we go, now you can see we are my guy is, um, he is wielding the sword that we pulled out from the dead body. Which is alright, we got something to defend ourselves with. And here we go, I think we're coming up on some enemies as we're making some progress to uh, escape this dungeon. So, to attack an enemy, click the enemy to get close to them and use an attack icon. Alright, so we have our attack icon over here. And it's only one skill, which is our one, so it's probably going to be slashing our sword. To really take these enemies out. So we can click on our enemies. But I wonder if we can tab. Alright cool. So we can. So it's up to you guys. If you guys want to click on each enemy you want to fight. Or you can tab. It has tab targeting. I much prefer tab targeting. I think it works much much better. But there we go. Two slashes of the sword. And we took that guy out. So we can go ahead and kind of overview what we got from this guy. We got a moldy agent shirt. Alright sounds good to me. Has some better defense than what we already got now. So let's go ahead and equip it. And uh, requires sword level 1. So, I guess we have to level up our sword skill. You need at least one skill and sword. Alright, so interesting. So, like I said, there's different levels of stuff that you raise as um you go on and make your way into the game. So, it seems like we got to level up our sword skill to use different types of armor. And I'm sure there's different types of weapon that you can upgrade to equip different other different kinds of armor. Which is really, really interesting. I think it makes the game extremely diverse. And really, really cool. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of liking the concepts behind the game. I think it has a lot of good ideas behind it. And this guy is just destroying me right now. Alright, you just learned the ability parry. Alright, sounds good. Go ahead and see if we could use that. Uh, these skeletons are destroying me right now. The, the combat seems a little bit slow, but that's alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Alright, don't keep pressing your attack keys or it's going to automatically make you auto-target the next enemy in place and start attacking them. So... Kind of be careful about spamming your skills, which is what I was just doing. I was just kind of spamming the one key. That's all right. Let's go ahead and search the corpse. And what do we got? We got a femur. All right. So we're taking bones from these skeletons. Makes sense. Let's go ahead and search this body right here. I believe we already looted it, did we? Oh, no, we didn't. All right. So we got some pants. Um, Kind of looks similar to what we got now, but they have increased armor. So that sounds pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and do that. Check our inventory and equip these. Alright, as you can see, it's already changing the looks of our character. We got some better pants, some better armor. Looking pretty good. Can we equip these yet? Oh, yes, we can. Alright, so we got our sword skill up level 1. And there we go. We're making a little bit of progress, finding some new gear. Our character's changing up a little bit. And, um, let's see, we got a femur. It doesn't really do anything for us. But, um, we can kind of go back and keep training on these skeletons if we want. But I say we just got to keep moving forward and find our way out of this cave. But overall, I am really enjoying this game. It doesn't seem like there's too much of, um, it doesn't seem like there's a skill tree. It seems like you develop and unlock more skills, the more efficient you get with the weapon that you're using. So, maybe if you're using, like, two swords, a sword and shield, or maybe, like, a staff. I'm not too sure what weapons there are offered in this game, but it seems like the more you utilize that weapon, the more proficient you'll become with it, which is a really cool concept, and I think that's awesome. 
And I think more games should kind of run along this concept of uh, weapon and skills, but that's all right. Not It's not too, too much of a big deal. I'm really enjoying this game so far, and uh, let's see. This skeleton's just going at us. He's going crazy. All right. Did he kill us? No, he didn't kill us. We killed him. All right, so we got another femur. But uh, I like how the skeletons aren't, like, too easy right off the bat. Um, they do deal quite a bit of damage to you. Um, they seem a very, they seem kind of uh, challenging early on, which is nice. It's really nice to see that the game's not really too easy in holding your hand right through um, the beginning. You kind of do have to play your part and kind of, you know, strategize a little bit. I mean, it's not too much to strategize. It's just spamming one, but the skeletons do hurt. But all right, let's go ahead over here and click on some more stuff. Um, touched it. Nothing happened. All right. Not a big deal. Maybe we could touch this one over here and something will happen. Let's go touch the pedestal. Nothing happened. Alright. So we got another skeleton over there. We got some more mushrooms we can pick. Might as well pick all these on our way out. Level up that skill as much as we can. I mean, it doesn't hurt to level it up. We might be able to use it or put it to some use as we get out of this cave and make some more progress down the road. But let's go ahead and keep... Uh, you can press end to view the map. Alright, let's go ahead and do that and see how far we are inside of this cave. We are about halfway through it. I think I'm going to keep running through until uh, we find our way out. I'm going to skip all interactions with these skeletons, and I'm just going to kind of run out. Okay, I guess we can't run because he doesn't want us to leave. All right, so we'll just fight this guy. We'll kill him. We'll kill very few skeletons on the way out, but like I said, I want to keep, uh, I want to keep making progress. The guy got stunned for a second. Let's go ahead and keep using our one skill. We took him out, nothing to loot, alright, and then I guess we'll keep walking. So I'm not too sure where the exit is over here, but I believe there's going to be a lot more to this cave, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video, I'll come back into the main city, you guys can kind of see some of the environment outside of just this cave, and uh, I will see you guys once I make it out. Okay guys, we made it out of that dungeon, we have found a nice little city um, as we made our way out. There was a big area, as you can see on the mini-map over here. I kind of spawned over here and had to run all the way into the city. Um, it did take a, quite a bit of time to run all the way over here, but it wasn't too bad. And upon that, I kind of discovered the different skills and stuff like that we can learn in the game as we uh, progress. So you can see here we have archery. If you choose to pick up a bow, the more you use it, the more skills we'll learn. And you can see here we have sword, which is what we're using. And we have three skills that we have learned so far with the sword, which is pretty cool. I like this system that they have in the game. So, you see we got our three different skills over here. The more you use it, the more skills we'll learn along the way. You can kind of click it and uh, scroll down and see the different um, the different skills and stuff like that you'll unlock. And the more you level it up, this seems like the max level is 15 for now. Um, you'll get more um, You'll get more passive increased stats for your character, which is really, really cool. So, as you can see, we got Archery, we got Endurance, we got uh, Gourdemond. I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, appreciate what you eat, the high Gourmand skills, more beneficial. Okay, so eating food, it seems like that, which is pretty interesting. Um, we got Mycology, which is um, the picking up the mushrooms, the gathering. Um, basically, just a gathering skill, pretty much. We got Sword, and we got Unarmed. I think Unarmed is really, really interesting. That is cool. We can kind of run around. With no weapon, if we really wanted to, and just start punching and beating enemies to death with our bare hands, which I think is really awesome. That is so cool that we don't even need a weapon in this game to be, um, you know, really strong and really, really cool running around killing enemies. Let's just go out and just beat enemies with our bare hands, which is really awesome. So, now that we've come to this main town, you can see, um, there's a lot, there's gonna be... There's a lot of NPCs we can talk and interact with. They're gonna teach us different skills, different things we can, um do so we can go ahead and talk to this guy i believe this guy is from meditation you can see we got like a little meditation altar over there so there we go meditate are you um so you're a martial artist um hmm let's go ahead and click that works better than swords okay cool so he's a martial artist he uses his bare hands to beat enemies which is totally cool maybe if we talk to him and meditate we'll increase our uh, martial arts or our bare hand you know, combat, so let's go ahead, good to know, thanks, so, there we go, we kind of learned that he uses his bare hands, we can learn a few different things about the different, um, combat styles in the game, and basically just run around, talk to most NPCs you see, you might discover something new, and, uh, that's really awesome, like I said, I really like this game, because it's not your standard MMO with basically one direction to run in, 
basically follow main quest line, level up. No, this game gives you full liberty to kind of run out, explore, become your own person, develop the skills you want to learn, and really do what you want, which I really enjoy. I think this game has a lot of promise, especially for an early, early state of the game just coming out of being funded on Kickstarter. This game has a lot going for it, and I think I think it has a good future for itself down the road. And if you guys are looking for a new MMO just to kind of change pace and, um, you know, have a new feel to it. I know the graphics aren't too great. That's all right. Not really too worried about the graphics. It's just the combat and basically the um, the ideals behind the game are really cool. And I suggest you guys take the chance and uh, try this game out. But, I mean, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.